Today's history lesson is about the woman who shattered the line between animal and human. In 1960, Jane Goodall traveled to Tanzania. She was 26. She had no PhD, no scientific training, just binoculars and a notebook and a lot of curiosity. At the time, scientists believed that animals didn't have emotions, animals didn't form relationships, and animals didn't know how to use tools. Jane showed up and broke every rule. First of all, she named the chimpanzees David Greybeard, Flo, instead of numbering them. Scientists freaked out. She's too emotional. She's not being objective. But naming wasn't sentimentality. It was scientific disruption. Seeing animals as individuals opened up the door to understanding behavior. Then Jane witnessed history. A chimpanzee stripping leaves off of a twig to use it as a tool. Fish for termites. Her mentor responded by saying, we must redefine tool, redefine man, or accept individuals as human. That discovery destroyed the idea that humans sit at the top, separate from the natural world. Jane didn't just learn about chimpanzees though. She forced science to admit the following, that animals have personalities, emotions, culture. Jane Goodall recently passed away sadly, but into her 90s, she still was traveling the world, fighting for conservation and youth activism. She believed that every individual made a difference every day, and Jane Goodall certainly did.